Uh, once again, George is in charge. George is not always in charge, but this time again he is. And uh, Marie and Steve are here. They are his subordinates. Um, we're just going to sit and listen to this meeting, and I want you to please pay close attention to how the meeting goes for Marie. So I think the uh, facts as I've outlined them really do justify the proposal. Excellent report, Steve. You've obviously done your homework. Well, thank you, George. All right, next item on the agenda is a report from, ah, Pretty in Pink Marie. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, so sales are up 30%. Market share is increased by 20% throughout the entire region. With these figures in mind, I recommend that we roll out production and test markets around the country. Some areas we might consider include Dallas, New Orleans, and Kansas City. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, Marie. That was a really nice report. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, very nice, uh, Marie. Um, hey, uh, hey, George. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had an idea. Uh, what if we roll out our production and test markets around the country? Around the country? Yeah, you know, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking, you know, Dallas, New Orleans, maybe Kansas City. Huh. I like it. Great thinking, Steve. Thank you, George. <laughs> yeah, great thinking, Steve. All right. Uh, I think it's almost time for lunch. Why don't we adjourn a little early? We will meet back here at, say, uh, 2 o'clock. Um, Steve. Why don't you come in and have lunch with me? I want to talk to you about that new project hey, in that's Paris. Great. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, guys. I'd love to come to lunch. Susan Wilson Solovich, she is an attorney, an author, and a consultant on business issues. And she has noted that men and women tend to have different approaches when they're working on projects. Um, by and large, she says, women tend to be more process oriented, whereas men tend to be a little bit more results oriented meaning that women want to make sure that the process seems fair, that everybody has a chance to contribute, and that everyone feels happy about what's happening. Whereas, again, generally speaking, men often tend to look more towards results with a little bit less sympathy for how people might feel. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, in the last 40 years, women's share in the workplace has gone from 37% to 47%, and currently, women edge men out in leadership roles with a 51.5% share. There's also a trend of women attaining more college degrees and graduate degrees, and as that trend continues, that 51.5% is probably going to go up. All of which begs a very obvious, though important question. Is a company going to be more or less productive if half of its workforce feels undervalued?